Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, a few years back on a mission trip that we took to Kenya, I and the team had the privilege of going on a very brief safari. And so for a day, we got to drive out into uh, a game preserve and we saw, you know, hundreds of giraffes, literally thousands of wildebeest, zebras, uh, all kinds of wildlife. Uh, it was cool. We saw water buffalo, which is rare. Uh, we saw uh, elephants. A herd of elephants walked about 10 feet from our vans. It was amazing. And of course, we got to see lions, uh, the kings of the beast. Uh, there, uh, some of them laying by their prey that they had just recently eaten and were still guarding from the vultures. It was, it was an amazing experience. But while we were out there, the time came where I said, hey, uh, some of us need to go to the bathroom, you know, because you're drinking water, it's hot. And they said, okay. And we're driving through this area, and I think there's a good spot for a bathroom. There's bushes. They didn't stop. And we're driving through this place, and there's a bunch of trees. And I thought, there's a good place, and they didn't stop. You know where they stopped? Right out in the middle of the plain. Like, there's no bushes anywhere. There's like one tree, that's it. And the girls got the tree and a blanket to do that. And, and it, for the guys, they just said, just walk on that side of the van. Literally, just walk on that side of the van. And I thought, this is crazy. What happened to modesty? But you know why they did this? Because they didn't want us to be eaten. <laughs> you know, it's a bad thing if your tour group gets eaten while they're going to the bathroom. And they wanted to keep it where they could see the predators before they got to us. Uh, so I uh, went to the bathroom uh, with a bunch of wildebeest staring at me, thinking, what's wrong with that guy? Anyway, uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 has something to say about wildlife and danger. It says, be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. That's right, as followers of Jesus... You know, if you've committed your life to following Jesus, then your enemy, Satan, wants to destroy your life. I mean, that's a reality. If, if you believe Jesus is the Son of God, Savior of the world, you've committed your life to following him, then there's an enemy who's trying to hurt you. Now, he can't control you, but he can harass you and he can attack you over and over again. And he wants to catch me and you unaware. Because if he catches us unaware then he can really hurt us. So the Apostle Peter tells us to be ready, to be sober-minded, be watchful, be alert, be prepared. So how do you do that? How do you get ready for the attack? Well, first of all, you have to acknowledge the reality of spiritual warfare, that we have an enemy who wants to destroy us, and there's a lot of things that come our way that are spiritually-based attacks on our life. Doesn't mean that every flat tire or every traffic jam or every you know, bad hair day is from Satan, but he's going to use those as opportunities while you're distracted to attack you. So be prepared for that. Acknowledge the reality of that. And then, of course, if you want to be prepared, you've got to spend time with Jesus. It's the only way you're really going to be ready. So you need to pray, read your Bible, worship on a regular basis. Those are going to get you ready. And then be intentional about how you act and react in every moment. What do I mean by that? I mean, well, when you lose your temper and you just go off on someone, then Satan takes a bite out of you. If you ignore your kids, then the devil's getting a piece of your flesh. If you're hurtful toward your spouse, it's like you're being stalked. And if you give in to addiction, abuse, adultery, surrender to your greed or porn or selfishness, well, you've just become the main course. You see... We have to be watchful if we want to stay healthy and we want to stay whole as followers of Jesus. So be watchful and alert because your enemy, the devil, is prowling about like a roaring lion seeking someone, seeking you to devour. I want you to survive and thrive, and I hope that blesses you. Have a great day, Calvary.